Exercise 2B.2. Question 2. There are some specific parts in here that are trickier, I think. And we're going to try to simplify them. Uh, if you look at these two things, they are monsters. They are hideous. I would not like to have this to work with is my final answer in maths because it's very, very confusing. So we want to simplify it. And we want to give our answers in simplest rational form. So as a fraction, as simple as we can get it. If we can get it down to a whole number, even better. To simplify these, I notice that I'm adding three different things. So let's simplify them one at a time. The two, let's just copy that down. Two is easy, I'll deal with that later. Five to the power of zero, well, anything to the power of zero is one. And five to the power of negative one. Hopefully remember, if we have a negative power, then it flips it upside down. So that five was on the top, but now it will be on the bottom. So a negative power flips it upside down from top to bottom. Okay, well, now we've copied all those things down and changed them a little bit. Let's simplify this part here. <laughs> 2 plus 1, that is an easy one. 2 plus 1 is 3, and I'm going to add 1 over 5. So I've replaced that with 3, and I've just copied this down. People don't normally say 3 plus a fifth. Much easier, they would just say, oh yeah, 3 and a fifth. It's a mixed fraction. Mixed fractions are also kind of tricky to work with in maths, to add them and multiply them. So to make it even easier, I would convert this to an improper fraction. To do that, 3 times 5 plus 1. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 makes 16. So the top number will be 16. And that's how you can simplify it. Let's try this one. I've got 2 and a half raised to the power of negative 2. Hmm, we know that the negative power means flipping, it means flipping upside down. But I really don't like working with mixed fractions. Uh, they get very confusing. So the first thing I would do is convert this to an improper fraction. And we can do the same thing. The bottom number, the denominator, will be 2. And the top number, the numerator, will be 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 makes 5. So I have 5 over 2. Everything else, the brackets, the negative 2 power, I just copy down. Now you might remember, this negative means that we're going to flip it. So if instead of 5 over 2, it will be 2 over 5. And now it's not a negative power anymore. I keep the number, but it's not a negative power anymore. Oh, now, this 2 on the outside of the brackets, if there's more than one thing on the inside, like if you're dividing, if you've got a fraction raised to a power, then each thing in there, the top and the bottom, get that power. 2 squared over 5 squared. Okay, so now that they've each got the squared, we can actually figure out each of these things. 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4. And 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. For some, oopsie, uh, for some more questions to practice like these, you'll want to try exercise 2B.2, question 2, exercise uh, quest parts F, H, and J. Until next time.